I've literally looked for 30 minutes and cannot find this bird anywhere. It, it almost seems impossible that it's not in here. All right, happy Saturday morning, everybody. Got a slam packed morning here. Got to introduce y'all to some new pigeons and I got to ban some. Got to feed all my animals, of course, including these chickens right here. Uh, got to clean out my bunny nest boxes. Those bunnies are getting big enough where I can take out the nest their mama made and clean out that box so they're not just walking around in their own pee and poop, basically. And uh, yeah, of course I'll feed my coon dog lady and I'll let y'all see a little bit more of her. Still need to do some individual videos on her. But stick with me, we got a pretty exciting morning going on. These are the kinds of Saturday mornings I look forward to all week down here at the pigeon loft. And these birdies are ready to eat. First things first though, before these pigeons get fed, I need to feed my chickens here. They were hungry as well. And I'm actually out of chicken food, so they're getting to eat pigeon food this morning. But you'll notice there's only three there. I lost a rooster maybe a week or a week and a half ago. Don't know what happened to it. And then now it looks like I'm down another hen. So I guess I got some predator issues going on. I haven't seen a hawk in I don't know how long. So it's got to be a possum or a raccoon or something. So I'm going to go ahead and set my trap this morning. Okay, I'm down here in my pigeon loft and I don't know what's going on or where to start. I got babies all over the floor here so this is a new hen and pair on the nest okay twitty jones is supposed to be right there all right he's not he's down here on the floor so my guess is in that strong wind or something last night old twitty jones just jumped out of the nest or fell out of the nest or something so i'm gonna put old twitty back up in here so that his parents can feed him in a little bit, but he'll be ready to be weaned soon off of them. So then we have another issue. We got this bird in here, which was the first pair, and this bird on the floor. I'll be able to tell if this bird is supposed to go in that nest by its number. Now I can't set this up very well because my daggone tripod broke. So this is bird number 3701. Okay, so it goes in that nest because one and two are in that nest. That's the one with the big bully. So we got those two in there together now. They should be warming up. Now here's the problem. That's actually really stressing me out. This bird is alone, okay? It has a nest mate. I do not see it anywhere. I have, I mean, it couldn't just have disappeared. Um, I really just don't know what to say regarding that bird unless it's underneath these steps right here, which very well could be, but uh, it's hard to hide a pigeon of that size. So let me look for a minute. Right, I came over to the other side of the loft just to get a different vantage point of the loft that that bird is just missing from. And the moral of the story is I just simply cannot find that bird anywhere. It, it, I mean, it can't, it can't fly. It's, a week and eight days old. It's two two weeks and one day old. And, you know, this is only like a five by 10 loft on that side. And it's just gone, it's vanished. But while I'm over here, I'll tell you, I mean, these birds over here are breeding like crazy. We got, uh, let's see, three pairs on this side, eggs over here, and then babies under here, which need to be banded today. Also, if you've been watching me for a long time, you know that I had a bird make a nest up here on top of these nest boxes. And I actually picked the eggs up and put them in this nest bowl. Only one of them was fertile. So I've got another baby there that's there by himself. Need to band it today as well. I've literally looked for 30 minutes and cannot find this bird anywhere. It, it almost seems impossible that it's not in here. All right, I figured out the missing pigeon situation. It's less than ideal and I need to deal with it. But first things first, I need to go back up to the house and get some water for these pigeons and feed my dog because she is absolutely sounding <coughs> off because she's hungry. And while I'm up there, I'll just go ahead and deal with the bunnies too. But um, at the end of this video, I'll come back down and tell y'all about the pigeon situation, what I figured out and what I'm gonna do about it. All right, time to feed my sweet dog lady here. 
as y'all can see, she kind of gets fired up for her food. Good girl. Now, she eats like her life depends on it. And there's a train going right now. Usually she'll uh, be just telling it, barking at the train. Uh, but if she sees some food in front of her, she's gonna eat it. But yeah, there's old lady doing her thing this morning. Mornings after we hunt, she doesn't even come out of that box right there. She's so tired. I just scoot her food bowl over in front of her and she hangs her head out of it and eats it. But uh, this morning she's got a lot of energy because we didn't hunt last night. It was really bad weather. So before I even got out here, she was up jumping around waiting on her food but i'll do some more videos on lady just individually sometime soon but just threw this in here so y'all could see her and see what she's about this is my bunny thumper as if you've been watching y'all know her and then that's one of her babies there and that's another one of her babies her other six babies are in this wooden nest box now she built that nest and it's been nothing but full of eight bunnies since she built it and all their poop and pee has just been in there. So it's really important you get all that stuff out, especially when they're this old, when they got fur and stuff on them and they can withstand the cold together. So right now I'll transport all those bunnies out of it, just into the cage and go dump that box. All right, Thumper, don't bite me. No, I should feed you. Something about these mama bunnies, they will eat as much as you give them. There ain't no doubt about that. All right, let's get these babies out of here. There's your one, two, three, four. Oh, mercy. Uh, I like the color of that one. All right, that should be all of them because there was already two out. Hey, sweeties. I always just take a minute to admire how selfless a mama bunny is to literally rip the fur off of her body to make the nest for her little kids and then let them drag her around and suck on her for six weeks and just have the best personality. It's, it's really just incredible how God made these bunnies and how great they are as parents. But what I do here is I just put my hand in there, which most people would probably be grossed out, and then just throw it out in the yard. And uh, the squirrels and the songbirds and blue jays and everything will come and pick all this up and make uh, their nests out of it. Hey, get out of there. So without the box in here, mama literally has no way to get away from these baby bunnies. And as she's trying to eat and do other things, they're getting up under and wanting to nurse and everything. So what I do is I just put the box back in there and put the bunnies back in the box. And so she can still stay away from them. Of course, the bunnies will get out, but uh, it'll at least provide her a place to, for her either to get into or them to be in where she can get away from them. But man, that's that's a good first time, Mom. All right, back down to the pigeon loft here. As you guys know, I was looking for this little guy's nest mate and her son or daughter. The reason I couldn't find it anywhere on the ground here is because it was laying in the nest dead, which stinks. I was, you know, I've never lost a young one like that before. I've lost older pigeons, but I've never lost, you know, one that's being raised that seemed perfectly healthy. And so obviously mama looks fine there. She looks healthy. And I'm like, oh wait, where's dad? Dad is sick right there on the ground, you can see. So I went through this entire loft and looked at every bird. Everybody looks perfectly healthy. I mean, nobody looks sick except for that bird's dad. So whatever that bird has, it had to have given its baby. And I hope it didn't give its other one. So I'm putting everyone in this loft on global pigeon like uh 
all around supply or some sort of mix that goes in their water that's supposed to treat for everything. And I'm putting this dude in a quarantine pen. All right, here's the bird I was talking about. That is the cock bird or dad bird to the baby bird that I lost. Here's a very expensive high dollar quarantine pen. Just kidding, this is just a dog crate. And I'm just gonna put some food in that medicated water in these bowls right here and keep an eye on them and hopefully nurse them back to health. My chicken returned after two days of being gone. As y'all can see, there's four chickens there now, so. I won't be setting out my trap tonight after all. My neighbor must have just adopted her for a couple evenings, which is awesome. So that's super sad about that bird and its dad being sick, but hey, that's life, right? I guess that bird's life was pretty short, but show must go on. So we're gonna ban the baby that's up here and then two more that are in the other side of the loft real fast. All right, this little guy that was up on top there is gonna be band number 3707. So just take its little chompers there, or claws rather, stick them through the band. Oop, I got the band the wrong way. Anytime I try to film this, this takes a long time. Oh, there we go. Get it through there. Give it a nice tug ski. Get that last knuckle through. Bada bing, bada boo. You got a banded bird right there. I'll do the same for the other two. It's unfortunate because these birds don't have a nest bowl or anything I can pull the babies out of to band them. So I'm just gonna have to reach down in there and grab them. But this pair is so daggone linked up, man. They do not mess around when I stick my hand in there. These birds are actually too little to band. I slipped a band on it and uh, just slipped right back off. So I gotta give them a few more days, but it's really cool that these the birds I had on my 2022 race team are now raising members of my 2023 race team. Oh, that wind's picking up. I gotta get it back in the nest. Now I'm gonna just clean up all the poop in this loft, which has kind of turned into my Saturday morning ritual. Uh, but I really appreciate y'all watching and sticking with me through the ups and downs of this stuff. You know, we have ups and that there's a ton of babies being born and we got downs that, you know, we got some dying. So I guess it's the circle of life, but appreciate y'all watching. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if you think I did the right thing about putting that bird in that quarantine situation and getting them on this global pigeon supply all in one stuff. But appreciate y'all. Don't forget to like the video. See y'all soon.